Week 7's quiz was on resistive capacitive series and parallel circuits. Let's cover the uh, first part, the series circuit first. We're given a circuit. It has an AC voltage source of 240 volts at 60 hertz. We have a 12 ohm resistor connected in series with a capacitor that has a capacitive reactance of 16 ohms. And we're asked to calculate various values. The first one, impedance, Z. So this formula is out of the textbook. Z equals, I'm going to rewrite it here. The square root of R squared plus x sub c squared. <clears throat> so that's square root of 12 squared plus 16 squared. And that gives an answer of 20 ohms for total impedance. Next, total current. We're going to use Ohm's law for that. So total current equals applied voltage over total impedance equals 240 volts divided by 20 ohms and that gives 12 amps of current. Next, the voltage drop across the resistor Again, using Ohm's law, so E sub R or V sub R equals the current flowing through the resistor times the resistance of the resistor equals 12 amps times 12 ohms equals 144 volts. Next, we're calculating the true power as measured in watts. We're using the power formula for that. So power equals the voltage drop across the resistor times the current through the resistor equals 144 volts times 12 amps equals 1,728 watts or 1.728 kilowatts. Next we're calculating the capacitance of the capacitor. We were given the capacitive reactance. So now we're figuring out the capacitive reactance. We're going to end up using this formula right here. So capacitance equals 1 over 2 pi F times capacitive reactance equals 1 over 2 times pi times 60 hertz times, uh, what is it, um, 16 ohms. If we do that math, we get, we get this value here, 0 0.0001658 or 165.8 microfarads. For the voltage drop across the capacitor, we're again using Ohm's law. So the voltage drop across the capacitor equals the current through the capacitor times the capacitive reactance equals 12 amps times 16 ohms equals 192 volts. For total voltage, we're actually given that in the problem. Um, if we weren't given it, we could figure it out if we knew the voltage drops across the resistor and the capacitor. So total voltage equals the square root of voltage drop across the resistor squared plus voltage drop across the capacitor squared equals the square root of 144 
squared plus 192 squared, and that gives 240 volts. Again, we were given the 240 volts, so this was a <coughs> excuse me an easy question. For reactive power, um, we're again kind of using Ohm's law here or the power formula. Um, so vars at the capacitor equals the voltage drop across the capacitor times the current through the capacitor equals 100, oops, 192 volts times 12 amps and we get 2,304 bars. For the apparent power, we're using basically the same formula, but instead of one of the individual voltages across one of the components, we're using the total voltage times the total current. It's a series circuit, so the current is the same throughout the circuit. So 240 volts times 12 amps equals 2,880 volt amps. And finally we have power factor. So power factor equals true power divided by apparent power equals 1,728 watts divided by 2,880 volt amps equals 0 0.6. Typically power factor is given in a percentage, so 0 0.6 is the same as 60%. And now for the parallel circuit, we're given a simple parallel circuit with applied voltage of 240 volts AC at 60 Hertz. We have a 30 ohm resistor wired in parallel with a capacitor that has a capacitive reactance of 20 ohms. So first the current flowing through the resistor. Current flowing through res the resistor is the voltage across the resistor divided by the resistance of the resistor. Now in a parallel circuit, voltage is the same across all the branches of the circuit and it equals the applied voltage. So that equals 240 volts divided by 30 ohms and we get 8 amps of current flowing through the uh, resistor. Next for the true power at the resistor, using the same formula we used in the series circuit, that's the voltage across the resistor times the current through the resistor. So again parallel circuit so all the voltages are the same. 240 volts times 8 amps. That gives an answer of 1920 watts or 1.92 kilowatts. For the current flowing through the capacitor, we're using Ohm's law. Current through the capacitor equals the voltage drop across the capacitor divided by the capacitive reactance of the capacitor. Again, parallel circuit, voltages are all the same, divided by 20 ohms, and that equals 12 amps. 12 amps. Reactive power at the capacitor, again using the same formula that, that we used in the series circuit, so VARS at the capacitor equals the voltage drop across the capacitor times the current through the capacitor. Oops. This is 
current through the capacitor equals 240 volts times 12 amps, and we get 2,880 bars. For the capacitance of the capacitor, so we were given the capacitive reactants, and now we're going to figure out the capacitance. Again, using the same formula that we used in the series circuit, that's shown here. I'm not going to rewrite it. I don't have a lot of room on the page over here. But it's 1 over 2 times pi times the frequency of 60 hertz times the capacitive reactance of 20 ohms. And it equals 0 0.0001326 farads or 132.6 microfarads. For the total current, that's the current flowing through this part of the circuit or this part of the circuit. And it equals the current flowing through the resistor and the capacitor. However, we cannot simply add those up because they're out of phase with each other. So we're using this formula here. Total current equals the square root of the current flowing through the resistor squared plus the current flowing through the capacitor squared equals the square root of 8 squared plus 12 squared, and that gives 14.4 amps. For total impedance, there are different ways to calculate this. Um, I think the easiest one is uh, the simple Ohm's Law formula. Um, so total impedance equals total voltage over total current equals 240 volts over that same 14.4 to 2 amps, and that gives 16.6 ohms for total impedance. For total, um, sorry, for apparent power, uh, we're using the same formula, formula that we used in the series circuit. So volt amps equals total voltage times total current equals 240 volts times 14.422 amps and that equals 3461.3 volt amps or 3.4 kilovolt amps and power factor um, again we're using the same formula uh, so power factor equals true power as measured in watts over apparent power as measured in volt amps equals 1920 watts divided by 3461.28 volt amps. That equals 0 0.5547. Power factor is typically given in percentage, so that's the 55.47. There was one more question on, in the D2L version of the quiz. Um, it's literally, I needed to add one to give 20 questions so the um, grading would be easy. It was a true and false question regarding the voltage um, across the um, different branches in a parallel circuit. Um, the voltage is the same across all of the branches in a parallel circuit.